Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another speed build. In this speed build, I'm trying to recreate falling water on a 64 by 64 lot in Windenburg. So in case you have no idea what falling water is, it's a very famous house that was designed by architect Frank Lloyd White and it was built in 1935. It is a modern build and it's just absolutely stunning. It has lots of elements that belong to organic architecture. It was built above a waterfall, hence the name. And in any room of the house you can hear the waterfall and it's just absolutely stunning. Parts of the rocks are kind of coming through the ceiling, so it's kind of integrated into the house. It's a super famous house. It's one of the most amazing houses ever. It's just absolutely stunning. So I love this house. I've never been there, but I just think that the whole idea and the execution, the way this house looks is just super stunning so I wanted to recreate this house for a while now but I kind of never did and now finally after the over 1000 new debug objects were added we are now having a waterfall. This waterfall is part of island living and I actually got a couple of comments where people were asking me if I could try to recreate falling water so I thought that now it's finally time to kind of give it a try. It wasn't easy. I'm usually not really someone who likes to recreate real life buildings. I'm just someone I start building and I completely wing it. As you know I never start with the floor plan so the whole nature of how I build a house in The Sims is just I kind of just start somewhere. I'm creative, I have fun with it and I just kind of see where it goes and what happens. And recreating a build is of course the total opposite. So Building this wasn't easy and I think that you can actually watch the struggle in this speed build because I'm constantly changing stuff. So I was looking up a couple of pictures of falling water and what I did and this is something that I can totally recommend whenever you try to recreate something. If it's available it totally makes sense to use a picture of a 3D model. I did the same for the Disney castle that I tried to recreate and I did the same for falling water. So when you are looking at pictures there are always some trees obstructing the view and it's kind of really difficult to figure out what's going on there. So I was looking for some 3D models online so it was kind of much easier to follow these pictures but then I kind of realized that these people were running kind of into the same problems that I did because the left side the balcony area was kind of different <laughs> in every 3d render that I found so people were kind of ringing it and then eventually I found a picture of a little real life model of falling water on Wikipedia and then I kind of used this for reference so I kind of changed a lot of stuff and I think eventually I got as close as possible and I'm really sorry if you are kind of a connoisseur and lover of architecture <laughs> I did not mean to offend anyone I did not mean to butcher this wonderful architectural landmark I really did my best <laughs> so at first as you saw I started off with building the waterfalls because I kind of realized that when I'm able to kind of nail the waterfall area the rest would be kind of easy but as I said it turned out that building the house was kind of more difficult than recreating the waterfalls and for the waterfalls I used the new objects that were added to the game and this waterfall is part of island living as I said and if you want to use this waterfall yourself you have to open the cheat console you have to enter bb.showLiveEditObjects and then when you enter world into the search bar all these objects pop up. I mentioned in earlier videos that you kind of have to enter the cheat to access debug objects but in this case when you do it this way you kind of have all these objects mixed together with the debug objects which makes it super confusing so you can simply use the cheat and then enter world and you will only see these new objects and then of course you can just sort by island living and you can find this waterfall very easily. We cannot size the waterfall up or down so this is kind of what we got and we have to work with this but it worked out totally fine for this build so there's one waterfall underneath the balcony area and then there's another one at the bottom. As I said I was looking at tons of pictures and I was kind of trying to figure out how to build this and I added lots of rocks. These rocks are also part of these new objects. I think they belong to cats and dogs actually. I 
try to not mix too many different rocks from different packs because they all have a slightly different color so one are almost black others are more brown and all that so this kind of looks bad so i almost exclusively used these cats and dogs rocks and then i applied a different watercolor and i just added more trees and all that so it kind of looks right and this was a lot of fun the landscaping was a blast i really enjoyed this so here at this point I've kind of worked out the shape of the house and I added lots of these rocks in the back. This is kind of a really rocky area, there are so many rocks, it sits on a hill, there's just so much going on. So I just decided to place a lot of rocks in the back as well. And here I wanted to expand the water, but this would have deleted the waterfall, so I simply um, worked on that. I moved the waterfall and then added the water, it was kind of confusing. Here at this point I started to decide which windows I would like to use and spoiler I did not use these windows you probably already noticed this in the beginning of the video so these are part of Get Famous and here's another thing on some pictures and in some models the windows almost look red and then in some pictures and videos the windows look more like a reddish brown so sometimes they look more red than in other pictures and this kind of super confused me and eventually I decided to use some base game windows and they are red. So some things about this recreation might be wrong but there's one upside. These windows will always look red no matter what time of the day, <laughs> no matter what light situation. So I kind of fixed this problem. So yeah, I eventually decided to use red windows all around the build. The reason for that was also because I had to use the shortest wall height available because the walls in the original falling water aren't high at all. They are like super super short and when you look at real life pictures these balconies are so close on top of each other because the walls aren't high at all of course i couldn't really recreate this because i simply used the shortest wall height available and you cannot have walls that are shorter than this so this is kind of what i had to work with but because of that i of course also had to use windows that are fitting into a short wall height and then eventually these red base game windows were kind of the obvious choice for me so this was one of those things that I kind of had to keep in mind and that was super confusing and then I added the infamous get famous <laughs> pristine pedestal at the top I just wanted to fill in this space the reason for that was because I couldn't go I couldn't build any higher because I think we can build four levels high if i'm not wrong so i kind of had to find a little workaround for this i used a half wall at the top and then i just filled in the hole with the pristine pedestal do you guys know i love this object whenever i kind of find a way to use this object i'm really excited <laughs> so it was totally fine and at this point you can already see the red windows that I mentioned and here I'm adding a couple of trellis next to the balcony. I forgot this and then when I was taking a closer look at other pictures I noticed that there are supposed to be a couple of trellis. And then at the bottom I used a lamp that I sized up because when you look at pictures of falling water there are these columns or something um, underneath the balcony and they have a very distinct shape so I couldn't use regular columns or something I really had to recreate this shape and these little details are kind of what make the build look more like the real deal in a ray I mean I know that I didn't nail it 100% and this is also kind of impossible because there are always limitations when you try to recreate something in this game we have to work with what we got and I'm not even using any CC for none of my builds so I just kind of have to ring it and have to see what happens also for the interior I did the same I looked at pictures and I was kind of figuring out which areas are on which floor the bedrooms the living area and all that and I loosely tried to recreate what's going on on the inside so what i did was i used a kind of retro style i used a lot of get famous objects for this because we got these mid-century 
furniture objects and all that so I kind of tried to make it look very retro and old-fashioned and it was really fun because I've never built something like this before but I also kind of changed a couple of things up so the kitchen in this house for example does not resemble the original kitchen or that I I mean it's still a game and it has to be functional for your sims so I kind of followed the floor plan and the pictures but at the same time especially the interior just kind of is what I thought would make sense so the exterior I really did my best to make it look like the real deal but the interior is a bit different from the original but on this floor in the original there is the kitchen and the living area and all that so this is where I built these things as well so I was able to kind of recreate the interior at least a little bit and it looks super retro this rock is part of get famous and these windows kind of already add totally to the retro vibe i've never built something like this before and when i started to work on this kitchen i was super excited because i was kind of afraid that i wouldn't be able to nail this look so this would be kind of I don't know you kind of have to recreate the interior as well and the interior has to match the exterior and all that so I was super afraid that I wouldn't be able to nail this because as I said I don't use any CC but there is so much good stuff in Get Famous I can totally recommend Get Famous for these types of builds and also in the bowling stuff pack there's also so much good stuff for these kind of builds also something that I want to quickly mention yesterday on August the 4th it was one year to the day that I created this channel it wasn't the day that I uploaded my very first video but it was the day that I created this channel and this is kind of how it all started and it's super crazy that I have been doing this for a year already it's so much fun this journey has been the biggest blast ever i just enjoyed so much and i'm so happy and so grateful that you are with me on this journey so in a couple of days it's been one year since i uploaded my first ever video and i have planned something special so on this day i will upload a kind of special video and also there will be a little giveaway just to celebrate the one year anniversary of this channel and i'm just super excited and i kind of wanted to tease this and let you guys know that i have something fun planned very soon and i kind of ready to show you guys really so for this build the most difficult part actually besides all the things that i struggled <laughs> with that i already mentioned i like to add so much detail and when i'm building something i just add more and more stuff and change things up until i feel like it looks really interesting and exciting but i just recreated the real life thing so the exterior looked like the real deal but in the sims i kind of felt like there was something missing like when i look at the real house it's just perfect it's a masterpiece but just recreating it this way in the sims for me I don't know, it was kind of lacking detail, it wasn't as interesting and of course it doesn't look as good as the original, nothing does, but if, I don't know, I already, I added a couple of shelves here and there, you guys know that I love to do that, to kind of make it look more interesting, to add a bit of detail and I still try to make it look as original as possible, but I don't know if I would have built this in The Sims, I would have added lots of more things and I would have approached it totally different. And this has nothing to do with the original because it's perfect as I said, but some stuff just doesn't translate this well to the game in my opinion. This is also why I don't really like to recreate something because you're just limited. You just want to add a lot of stuff or want to change something up and you cannot do that because you want to recreate something. But I hope that I kind of did it justice at least a little bit. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. I hope that it's not that bad. <laughs> and for the interest you see I have used the same wallpaper that I've used on the exterior and the same goes for the floor. This looks a bit boring in my opinion but this is kind of what's going on there in the original build. It's rock everywhere, it's supernatural as I said, organic architecture so the 
inside is the outside basically it connects the exterior with the interior which is super amazing but here i just wanted to kind of change a couple of things and at least for the kids rooms i changed the wallpaper and for one of the bedrooms because i felt like it was just too much i couldn't imagine having a kids room like this and the kids rooms also look super retro as you can see it doesn't look like one of these very i don't know super colorful typical blue yellow or pink kids rooms or something it looks retro and kind of i don't know just totally different from what i would usually build especially for a kids room so this was kind of super interesting and really challenging i don't know whenever i step out of my comfort zone regarding the interior it gets a bit difficult for me so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed this video this house is available in the gallery it's fully furnished you can find all the information in the description box down below thank you so much for watching and i hope i see you in the next video bye bye